All right, so welcome to my edit. Here's a shot with rain. Uh, looks pretty clean, right? But this is right here, actually how it started. So this is the raw image. You can see I cleaned up the floor. I took out the uh, strip box over here and, and cropped it, and we ended up like this. So that's pretty clean. Um, almost too clean lost a little depth here maybe on the background you want to retain like you got a little line here where the fold is maybe i could add some highlights here just to give it some depth on the floor uh, might have overdone it a little bit so let's look at another one i've kind of been going through some of these shots of hers i think this is one she's going to like um, so i'm going to go ahead and try the same thing on this one and show you how I did this. So if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. I can use all the subscribers I can get because it's a small channel. Um, so give me a like and a subscribe. Uh, and if you want to follow along, I will leave a copy of the raw file here for you and you can edit along with me. So let's continue then. So as you can see in Lightroom here, I've made some just basic edits. Uh, let me see, I'll reset it. So that's how it started out. I mean, not right out of camera. I mean, it's exposed pretty well. So I'm going to hit Control Z, which is undo. And then I just made some edits, um, adjusted the white balance a little bit, made it a little bit cooler. And let's bring this into Photoshop. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to choose Edit in Adobe Photoshop and wait for the Photoshop to come up. All right, so here we are in Photoshop, and the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this strip box. So let me get the lasso tool here, and I'm just going to draw a lasso around this strip box. doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to choose Fill. Make sure Content Aware is checked, and hit OK. And it should fill it in pretty good. Yeah, look at that. It's just magic, right? All right. So now what I want to do is crop it. Um, now, I like the composition the way it is. Probably a little bit too much headroom. But I'm going to post this on Instagram. So I want the 4 by 5 crop. Um, so go up and come up and hit your crop tool right there. That's going to bring up your crop bars. Now, left click on the area once. That'll give you... The ability to actually manipulate the crop the way you want to so now i can bring these hover over this handlebar here and then grab it and bring it down to the bottom and then i probably want to maybe give her you know it's better to give her too much headroom than not enough right so i'm going to do that make sure that content aware up here is checked okay before you commit any changes here because that's what's going to fill in the edges just like we did the fill with the strip box and it filled them in perfectly, it should do the same thing and fill in these edges with whatever is directly around it, okay? So I've got it, I think about where I want it. Maybe I will use my right arrow key and kind of nudge her over just a little bit. Uh, about right there. We'll see if that works and then we'll hit enter to commit the change and we'll see what happens. So pretty good, filled in the edges for us. We don't have bars anymore. So the next thing I see there's some, the floor is a little bit dirty, just from people walking on it. And the background is, uh, there's some little, some inconsistencies. There were some dimples here, right here. I tried to get them out before the shoot so I wouldn't have to come back and get these little dimples in post, but I just couldn't get them out. So uh, what I will do now is go ahead and do a new layer. And that's a new blank layer. Just hit the plus. And um, actually, click on the background again, okay? Because we've got to have a layer with pixels. Let me select the subject here first because we're going to isolate her from the background. So come up here to the Quick Selection tool. It's this one here, Quick Selection. And just choose the Select Subject up here at the top where the button is, okay? And it does a really good job of selecting the subject. Um... And we're not going to, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, so I'm not going to go in and, and make any micro selections here. But I'm going to right click on her, and I'm going to choose Select Inverse to just select the background. Now anything I do, uh, as, as far as on the background, it's not going to bleed into her any changes. You can see right here, that's not good right there, but I'm not going to do anything in this area. So 
I'm um, not worried about that miss selection right there. Um, that's pretty bad though because there's a lot of contrast right here and it missed the selection right there. So anyway, so I've got the background selected. She's not selected. All right, go back up to your layer one up here. Don't forget to do that and come over here and choose your paintbrush tool. Set your flow mm, about 20%. Okay, it might be set to 100 or whatever you had it on last time. Uh, make sure that up here that you're in this little icon here that your hardness is set to zero percent if it's not you could get streaks right so we want the we want it to be a really soft brush and i'm going to use my right and left bracket keys that resizes the little circle here i'm going to make it in you know i'm just guesstimating and it's not exact but see this right here i kind of want to blend that a little bit so i just took a couple swipes and it's blended that's all you got to do um, there's some stuff down here. Maybe I want to kind of blend. Uh, and what I did here, and I, I sort of missed a step there, I held down the Alter Option key and I got the dropper, right? And I just picked, let me, let's go back. See how we had this here? And I wanted to blend this kind of with this color here. So um, I hold, held down the Alter Option and I grabbed this color right there, that sample. And it loaded it into my foreground color. It looks black, but it's a lighter black and then I just took a couple swipes right there and kind of blended it right you can go a little bit further if you want but that's pretty good right there seems like I got it in two swipes before I'm um, being less efficient now so then I can come over here left or right bracket key resizes it maybe make it a little smaller kind of grab that color kind of blend that a little bit and then Make it a little bit bigger. And again, anything I do is not going to color in the lines on her, right? Because I've got her isolated. So let's take maybe that and kind of blend this in a little bit. And I'm just grabbing it. See how I kind of, we lost the little inconsistencies in the, I guess, the texture. So that's cool. Um, this is a little harder down here because I want to, I could come with like the spot healing brush tool and maybe some other tools, the patch tool, something like that, and try and clean these up. But first thing I'm going to do is just hold down the alter option and grab maybe this color and just take a couple swipes over it, right? And that kind of helps quite a bit. It's tedious going in trying to fix all these little footprints, right? So forget that. So I'm just going to kind of grab a color. You don't, you want to be real subtle. You don't want to go overboard. You don't want to delete her shadow if you can help it. So I've just gotten, you know, the, I'm going to undo control Z. If you kind of go too far, you can undo. I've just kind of gotten, you can see over here where I've painted in on, on this layer here. I've just kind of gotten some of these areas and just kind of blended them in. Right. So we'll turn that off, hit the eyeball and that's where we started. And then that's where we finished, right? And I'm going to deselect her. And pretty clean, pretty clean. So I'll save that. And that's all there is to it. We got the background all cleaned up. Um, we've retained some depth here because we didn't, if you go too far and you just use one color and you wipe everything out, she just kind of looks like a cut out. There's no depth to the shot. So I hope we retain some depth here by leaving kind of this fold line. Uh, like I said, in the other one, maybe went a little too far, but it still it looks a lot cleaner than it did, and we got rid of some of these footprints. So again, guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and give it a like. It helps my channel out a lot. Like I said, small channel. Um, I'm really kind of struggling to wonder whether the the time that I'm spending on some of this stuff is worth it, given the number of views that I'm getting. But um, if you help out a little bit and give me some encouragement, I'll keep doing what I do here and posting some content. So I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.